Yo, what is up everybody? Today, I have a back and biceps workout for you. Low key, I kind of didn't want to show up today, man. I, it was, uh, it was just all bad, but I know there's a few of you guys out there who are looking forward to the consistency, and in the back of my head, I knew I couldn't let you down. So before we jump into this workout, as always, make sure you smash that like button or bookmark or save this video wherever, because just like you, me, we all have our bad days, we're only human, and when those days come, it's so much easier to have everything prepared so you can just show up. Now without further ado, let's get right into this workout. For today's back and biceps workout, we have a one minute warm up followed by a 15 minute workout that consists of 40 seconds on and a 10 second transition period. For equipment, you're gonna need a pair of dumbbells, a mat, and maybe some water. All right, for our warm up here, we have inchworm crawls. Starting from standing, you're gonna squat, bend your knees, and then crawl out forward into a plank position and crawl back. Take the time to really move through the motion and find your range of motion here. This is our warm up. Alright, next move, staying at the bottom of that plank position, we're going to push the ground away and enter a downward dog position. Here you should feel your lats stretch and if you need to, keep a slight bend in your knees. We're going to alternate back and forth between the plank and the downward dog. Warm-up's over, we're coming into our first move. Grab your dumbbells if you don't have them already. We got dumbbell rows. Keeping a bend in your hips, you're gonna be rowing with your elbows back. Now this is the first exercise here, so please pace yourself. There's no need to push it yet. Alright, coming into our first rest period here, we've got dumbbell curls next. So these movements are super simple because I don't want you going all out and I want you to find your range of motion at this time. What I like to do here is I keep my elbows pinched at my side so as I curl I know where they are at all times. This way I'm not rocking and I'm doing the motion with intent. another rest period right here. So the next move is pronated rows. So supinated means palms facing up, pronated palms facing back. Make sure as you do this motion your palms are facing the back of your room. As you perform this row, remember, the whole time you need to be driving with your elbows. Drive with your elbows back. Don't think about yanking the weight. This is where the magic happens. Alright, we are just plowing through this workout. Next move, hammer curls. So now wrists are gonna be pointed at each other and from here, curl it straight up. Again, you're gonna to wanna to use that same elbow cue that we talked about last time. Keep breathing, keep breathing, you got this. So at this point in time, if you don't feel challenged, you may need to up the weight or you may need to pick up the pace. Thank you. 
Woo! All right, 10 second rest. These little rest periods are starting to feel really short. I don't know what's happening. Next move, alternating rows. So exactly what we did before, except this time our hands are alternating. Don't move the opposite hand until the other one comes back down. I'm right here with you. You got this. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice. So next we got alternating curls. Same exact concept here. We're going to be alternating. During this whole process, make sure you keep good form. That's where the magic happens. Keep breathing, exhale every time you contract. You got it. All right, for the next exercise, we have single rows with pauses. Exactly what that sounds like. You're gonna be doing that same row motion you're already familiar with, except at the top, pause. How long you pause for, totally up to you. You can do two seconds, three, four, five, whatever feels good. Keep breathing, I'm right here with you. The intent here is to make sure you're contracting your muscles, hence the mix up and tempo. All right, Yo, these rest periods are starting to feel really short. Next move, single curl with pauses. Same exact concept here. Curl up, squeeze, and pause at the top, and then alternate. If you ever fall out of it, take a quick break and jump right back in. There, we're coming up to our rest period. Nice. All right, next move static row holds. So, this time you're actually just gonna roll the weight up and you're gonna keep it up. You're gonna keep it up the entire time. breathing keep breathing i'm right here with you you should be shaking right now and if you're not if you're not struggling you didn't challenge yourself you need to pick a heavier weight and time coming into our rest period guess what we did that for back, we have it for biceps. Did you notice this pattern yet? It's back, biceps, back, biceps. I mean, that's the workout, right? Static curl holds, here we go. Okay, so our biceps are a lot smaller than our back, so if you need to, if you need to take a break, I can't blame you for that. Come on, hang in there with me. Mm -hmm. 
Nice, okay, next move, static rows. What the heck does that mean? So here, we're gonna contract, hold that row at the top, and now we're gonna perform the rowing motion. Essentially, you're keeping the muscle group contracted as you perform the range of motion. Right here with you you got this let's go Woo! guess what it's that same movement but now for curls you got this enjoy this rest period savor it because here we go We're essentially flipping the exercises and now working on that negative portion, but hold it, breathe. This is where the magic happens. You've been working. Trust me, if you did this when you were fresh, it would feel easy. You're only feeling tired because you've been working. Nice. All right, 10 second transition period. Move down to the ground. Meet me in a plank position. Dumbbells underneath your hands. We've got renegade rows. All right, little tip and trick here. The closer your feet are together, the harder the exercise. The wider, the easier. So with this in mind, choose your level of difficulty. If you're tired, feet wide. If you're good to go, feet close. Come on, come on, you got it. I'm right here with you, let's go. Nice, back on our feet, we've got cross body curls. We're breaking that elbow rule here. The one thing I want you to think about is bringing the dumbbell head towards the opposite shoulder. You got this. We're essentially mimicking the hammer curl motion, but now we're just changing the angles. Keep breathing, you got it, hang in there. All right, all right, all right, coming into our next rest period. For the next exercise, we have supinated rows. Supinated means palms facing upwards. Same row position, palms facing up. Here we go, let's get it. Now's a great time to let you know we are way past halfway. We're almost at the finish line, so finish strong here. Come on, you got it. Let's go, let's go. There's only three more exercises now. Enjoy this rest period. Next move, triplet curls. Essentially, you're gonna curl left, right, and then together. Exactly what that sounds like a triplet. Left, right, together. You can mix it up. Right, left, together. Or you can go together, left, right. Have fun with it. This is your workout, come on. Almost there, don't stop, don't take any breaks. Come on, the finish line is right in front of you. You got this. In three, 
two, one, drop the weights here. Meet me down on the ground, on your stomach flat. I don't know why I put this at the end, but here we go. Reverse snow angels, hands out in front, chest comes off the ground. Bring those hands back like you're making a snow angel. This is a body weight exercise, but don't underestimate it, especially after doing all of that back work. Come on, we got it. Right here with you. Come on, come on, keep breathing if you need to. Quick break, three, two, one, jump right back into it. One, nice, rest, 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 10 seconds of rest. Meet me on your feet, grab your dumbbells. We've got negative curls. What the heck is that? So you're gonna curl up and you're gonna go down on the negative, except for this negative, fight it. Stay in the range of motion for as long as you can. Like it could literally look like a static curl. Can you keep it and just make this whole segment one rep? Can you do a one rep 40 second curl? Right here with you. How many reps did you get? Come on, keep going, keep going. How many people are only gonna do one rep? I'm right here. <laughs> Come on. In three, two, one, and time. Thank you so much for joining me on this workout. Thank you so much for giving this workout a chance. If you've made it to the end and you haven't smashed the like button yet, what are you waiting for? Help me out here. Make sure you hit subscribe, turn notifications on, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.